What's up everybody, this is Marty Friedman. I'm at Guitar World and I'm just gonna show you some interesting ways to move around the fretboard because the people here got excited over this one lick that I just played. Very and excited. so I figured if it's good enough for them, it's good enough for you guys and good enough for me. So um, I think what I did was something like, is say, for example, I was in the key of A minor. I would like start with like an E minor. I guess that's a triad over that and that's where it stays normal, so. So they are still like kind of in A minor there, but then I might want to like throw in something that's kind of nonsensical for a second, just to like wake people up and go. See what I did right there? I was like started off normal, did some complete bullshit in the middle, ended up normal, and people thought it was great. The reason why, is because that bullshit is played with complete conviction in there. See what I'm saying? So here I'm totally normal within all the rules. Then I did like a B, a B major chord over A, A minor, which like to me is cool, but I mean it will go against like your music books. So anyway, you go. All the way down to like, there you are in your blues box right there. So here you go. And I ended up with a, a phrase that is kind of like a default type of phrase what I play. Where I'm playing this. Like an E minor over an A and then I go. So I get like the minor seventh and the major seventh in the same phrase, like two for the price of one. See what I'm saying? So you go. Something like that. A lot of people ask me, why do I pick like such a weirdo? I think it looks weird, but people here think it looks very cool. So I'm, I have a little bit of confidence now about that. The reason is definitely not aesthetic. It's only because I don't like the sound of muted strings when I'm soloing. I just don't like this sound. I hate that sound to my ear. It's just not that sound that I want to make out of my body. So I want to hear the notes. I want to hear the notes ring out. See what I'm saying? So I'm going to play the phrase that I showed you a second ago or something like that and uh, note my right hand and uh, how far away from the strings it is. When I play that way, my right hand kind of doesn't mute the strings at all and allows the notes to come out clear. Full and rich. You hear all the notes clearly, which is very important to me, because if I'm going to bother to play the note, I want it to be heard. So I, I'm just not um, really into the sound of muted solos. So naturally, my fingers come far away from the strings as possible, and that's why. Okay, I want to thank you for listening and watching all of these videos. Um, by the time you're watching this, I'm sure all of this information is completely outdated and I want you to forget it completely and come up with new things on your own. You've got to keep evolving, evolving, evolving. But uh, it depends on what stage you are in your playing. I'm sure some of this information can help you at all the time. And hopefully you've learned something on here that you've changed and made your own. I mean, I don't want no clones out there of me. You see what I'm saying? Change it around. Um, it'd be impossible to really be a clone of me because it's, my playing is a sum of all the choices that I make, the melodic choices, the musical choices, my own interpretations. So it'd be absolutely impossible to be a complete clone anyway. But what you could learn from what I've said over these last couple of months is to make your own interpretations and kind of maneuver things around so that it's easier for you to play, easier for you to understand, and... Um, just take things that you learn and do them your own way. Change them and make your own way. I mean, this is not really rocket science, this part right here. Do things that are easy for you and learn from as many possible places as you can. And uh, the best place to learn is from my record Inferno because there's so much frigging guitar on that thing. I really hope you're enjoying that record. 
It took about a year and a month to make. It's the deepest record I've ever done by far. There's a lot of cool guests on it, and there's just so much really of what I want to show everybody with my music, what I've wanted to do for years outside of Japan and for the whole world. So I'm so glad that uh, it's out now and you're enjoying it. And uh, thank you so much for watching this. This has been Marty Friedman. See ya.